Wellington, Palm Beach Gardens, Fort Pierce Stewart. They're not just places we tell you about or report on. They're our communities as well. We live and work there and are part of the rhythm of that life. And WPTV pledges to help with the recovery every step of the way, beginning with a fundraising effort to support local tornado victims. I've been down here since Hurricane Andrew. I've seen a lot of big storms, Francis, Jean, you know, that come through Jupiter and stuff like that. I've never seen so many tornadoes. Philly Down South owner Jim Leary has been in South Florida for more than 30 years. It's the recent destructive power of Helene and then Milton that has the restaurant owner springing into action. He proposed a fundraising partnership with WPTV, and now the effort is growing. Leary is donating 20% of all proceeds on Tuesday to our Tornado Relief Fund. In Wellington, where the community is reeling from Wednesday's tornadoes, JoJo's Bar and Grill is also stepping up. We were very, very fortunate to not have a tornado or anything affect us too, too much. But we do have a lot of customers and a lot of regulars that have been affected. Uh, we've heard all the stories. We've seen all the pictures driven through the neighborhoods. It really, really is terrible. John Nolly, owner of Pierced Cider Works in Fort Pierce, says his community is feeling the devastation, and that's why he's jumping on board, too. Uh, definitely. We have some customers uh, that have gotten hit and lost their house as well. So, yeah, they come weekly a few times a week, and right now they, uh, they went out of town to escape the storm, came back to not having a house and uh, whatever we can do. Nolly and local food truck owners, Martha Taramo and Jim Bauman, are all donating 10% of their Tuesday proceeds to the fund. Taramo says she witnessed the destruction firsthand. It, it was pretty devastating, it was very scary. The noise, uh, it, I just, just felt like it was horrible. Just a horrible experience, watching everybody's house. The breeze going uh, flying down the street, Tarama, who owns Point Break Kitchen, says it reminds her of Hurricane Sandy when so many New Yorkers needed help after that storm. It hits the heart. When Hurricane Sandy hit in New York, we were, as Point Break, we were serving the community, going into places, giving um, food, made pasta dishes for everybody, made sure that everybody had food. It means a lot to us. And that is the same spirit animating Bauman, who creates pizzas at Jimbo Slice. I was affected. A little bit, but I, you know, prepared because of my experience with Hurricane Sandy. But like, I'm a gas station kid, first responder type. So I was like, I'm going to help out however I can. Philly Down South owner Jim Leary says the goal is to help as many people as possible. And even his staff is donating their pay on Tuesday to the effort. I, I'm hoping everybody from Martin County, Treasure Coast, the whole area, hope to come out and just support us. The more money you spend, the more money we donate. You can join the WPTV team and Stewart at Philly Down South from noon to 10.30 p.m. In Wellington, we'll be at JoJo's Raw Bar, 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. And in Fort Pierce, we'll be at Pierced Cider Works with those food trucks from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. with live music. And you can donate to our effort through the Scripps Howard Fund. At any time, every dollar will go to local charities to support the victims who need it most. Please, if you can, donate directly by using the QR code on your screen or go to WPTV.com forward slash relief. Or you can also text WPTV to 50155.